All right, folks, we're back again here. Uh, Lynn and I are going to trail fish. Hunter couldn't make it with us today. We're going to go back into the wobbler fishing with, for brookies, and I'm going to cover some finer details uh, on how to fish these wobblers than I did the other day. We've got a, a, a rod today that's got a yellow tip, so you're going to be able to see what kind of action you need to have when you're trolling. A lot of you guys probably don't have speedometers on your boat and you don't know where what 1.5 miles an hour is what I was talking about the other day so you can tell a lot just by the action on the end of your pole so we're I'm gonna go over that also go over how to fish these just casting them to shore which is very very productive if you've got the structure and the depth and um, throwing these into shore and casting them and and then Real, um, reeling them in from shore but anyways uh, same pond the other day we're gonna be six to ten feet of water and hopefully we Lynn and I can put some yep. fish some fish in the boat for you here today let's do it All right, Ray. Man, that which was on the blue and silver um, the number size number one you see there like clear wobble it's about two inches long we've got a swivel on each end and what I talked about the other day is running, you know, eight to 10 pound off of your pole. And then I use a brown four pound leader down to the hook. This is um, fly line, tippet, brown, it's almost invisible in the water. Um, that way, if you get hooked up on bottom, you snap that and you don't lose your expensive Lake Clear wobbler. That's a really good thing. I always have you know, eight, 8 to 10 pound up here on this end and around 4 pound down on this end. I talked about... Remember the other day I talked about the death hook, the, the hook with a bend in it. I use red ones and a piece of worm just long enough to cover it. Thread it on so there's nothing hanging off of it just like that yep bigger, i'm on bigger bigger one um i don't know it kind of feels like Him back in the water. These guys take up. There's the action we're looking for. And you, you may want to occasionally slow down until the action stops to get it down closer to the bottom and then speed back up. But that's what the action looks like. We're doing 1.5 miles an hour. And when you get a bite, obviously it changes a, to. So this shoreline casting um, works sometimes really good early in the season when the fish are in tight. The sh it's warmer water near shore and what I'll do is just throw this in within five to six feet of shore and let it drop. I like to get it in between some dead falls maybe, some windfalls and and then either then power out away slowly if I'm paddling a canoe. Just take a few strokes with a canoe or kayak and come away from shore with it like that. These, the first week of the season, the water is, especially in the Adirondacks, still cold and a lot of the bug activity is right near the shoreline. If you're not catching them out in the main lake, go to the shorelines. And a lot of times there's too many trees laying out in the water to troll the shoreline. So <clears throat> I cast to shore, troll out, reel up, Go back into shore, throw it out, troll out, do that, and uh, you'll pick them up um, in between those snags and deadfalls that way sometimes. Well, we're calling it a day, folks. Uh, we must have got a dozen, dozen in the boat. Two, two got hooked pretty bad. They crap. Um, the rest we released. The blue and silver wobbler. First time I ever used one. Um, I'm usually a copper silver kind of guy, but one of my buddies had tried one and had good luck. So 
picked one up uh, just this week at runnings and uh, mm -hmm. it worked really well again it was all uh, 1.5 miles an hour and uh, they Every time we went down through there, we had a fish or a bite, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, didn't we? yeah we yeah. did. It was so. a great day. We had a lot of fun. The no, weather held out for us. Yeah, no rain. We thought <laughs> we, we thought we were going to get wet, but um, yeah. just a cloudy May day here. Mm -hmm. And um, so, thanks for following us. And uh, maybe next time we'll be on the on back on the walleyes. We'll see where we go next. But I'll catch you again next week. Bye. Bye.